Hi everyone, nice to see you on the channel today. I want to share with you two flexible, not too expensive solutions for workshop illumination. So any kind of illumination problem you might have around your machines or around your workplaces, I can solve with that. Let's go. All right, so what I want to show you with that strange kind of camera position is my bread and butter light. These are cheap IKEA desk lights. Yeah, they're, they cost 10 bucks or something. They are different brands uh, with a kind of similar product. So they have a huge range of movement. They have flexible holders. You can mount it on the wall or on a surface on wherever you want. And you can create shadow free areas even for big machines like a drill press or a miter saw where you have automatically due to the construction of the machine a shadow from up above. So you need a light source from the side and guess what to have a shadow free area and not create like this a shadow with a drill or something you add another one boom you're good. And if this is not the area I'm working on I can just shift the lights to another position. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I need for my work area here. And this is a shop of 4x4 meters, so 12 by 12 feet. I have nine of these lights around the shop. Nothing to build, just to screw on, plug it in, done. So all right, the second solution I found when I started with YouTube. I was looking for some video lights and you know, I, there's a huge bunch, it's a whole universe of photo and video lights and the mounting equipment set for that. So I want to just give you a quick introduction into two lights that I found very useful for the shop and some mounting equipment. Okay, I want to introduce two lights. Um, this one is um, Made in China Rose LED light. It works pretty nice and you get a lot of light for the money. So two of these very not heavy lights uh, in a pack with uh, tripods, with two tripods, cost something around 100 bucks. So this is an awesome piece of equipment and compared to the price of working lights, this is, yeah, it's fantastic. Very good lights. Brilliant. If you want to be more independent from, from a power cable, then you ca can buy this uh, or lights like this. Brings its own battery. So yeah, you can adjust as well as with the other light, you can adjust the brightness and the color temperature as well. So yeah, very, very cool light. Costs something around 50 bucks. Brilliant. So how to mount these lights? Uh, you have the tripod. That's good if you want to have on a spot where you do not have light, you can use this one. You have to add a little bit of weight to the bottom. I recommend that so it won't tip over uh, so easily. Wherever you want to mount something, you can use these super clamps, they're called. This are, or this is a really big super clamp from Manfrotto, costs something between 20, 25 bucks. It's not so cheap, but um, I honestly only have one of these things. I do not use them very much because it. this is a huge clamping area. So for a big piece of table surface or for a big tube, that's all right. Um, and these are smaller versions of this super clamp, also nice and 90% of the time this will do the trick. How to mount your equipment on that? All these parts, all the, the equipment I show you fits to each other. There is a one quarter inch thread in here and uh, the same with these clamps. You see I attached already a ball head to that piece but there's also a three eighths of an inch. And these are the both most common threads you have and you can just um, yeah, interchange everything. For example, if I want to mount my video light to, to some pole or to a table. I can just bring that to my ball head. This is, as long as I do not tighten the screw, everything is, is very flexible. So you can adjust as you need and then 
pull it tight and it holds perfectly. Very nice, very flexible, cool. If this kind of ball heads and uh, I think a pack of two of these and two ball heads cost me something around 19 bucks or so. If this is not flexible enough, you can use what is called a magic arm. And this is an awesome piece of equipment as well. And I'm very glad I found that. Uh, basically a magic arm has two ball bearings or ball bearings, ball heads at the end. So you can uh, really bring every kind of gear to the position you like and one uh, joint in the middle. And if you just pull tight the central nut or screw, all the other joints are getting stiff as well. So you just have to loosen that one and bring it tight or uh, pull it tight afterwards and then the whole magic arm keeps that position. As you can see you can bound for example uh, an additional equipment to the tripod if you like to. Uh, why additional equipment? Not only lights are possible. I use that for my multimeter for example and for to mount other equipment on that you can find this. It is called cheese plate. Basically it's a plate full of uh, threads and uh, some longer holes. There are different varieties of these kind of equipment and yeah they give you the the possibility to mount anything any kind of equipment to all this system so it won't get more flexible. This is very easy absolutely affordable and for the price you pay you get a lot of yeah, value. As you can see there is a whole universe of illumination equipment out there and you will surely find the pieces that fits your needs best. Moreover it's worth thinking about what kind of problems can be solved with the same kind of mounting equipment like holding multimeters, sensors, displays or even tools. I hope you liked that video, give me a thumbs up if so, post a comment below if you have questions, share, like, subscribe and I hope I see you again here on my channel. Happy crafting!